Hey everybody, Morgan SLV here. Hey, today's kind of a special edition. I've been getting a lot of things that I've been thinking about off my chest, okay? So today we're just gonna, this is just gonna be kind of a continuation of that. It's not necessarily uh, any technical information. As you know, I'm extremely untechnical. I don't believe in uh, wasting a lot of time with uh, things that don't really matter. We all know the economy's really messed up. So that's what I'm paying attention to in a broad sense, and it's up to you to get your technical information. Let's go over gold and silver. Silver today is 1832. Uh, gold today is, uh, it looks like about 1202. So the bottom line is this. Um, as, I, as, I, as I've told you before, it's up to you to study, okay? It is up to you to uh, pay attention to the markets. Whenever you're gonna invest in something, as you know, my goal is about 4,000 ounces of silver and we're on our way there. Well, we should, we should, we should surpass that. I hope we do, if we don't, I'm not. I, if I never get another ounce from where I'm at right now, I don't care. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is I have my son Blake here. <clears throat> the bottom line is this. Blake is very excited about learning. Not so much the school system, uh, you know, I try to keep my, my uh, two cents out of it as much as I can because I want to make sure he has the best attitude he can, he can have as far as going to school. But if you follow the money, if you follow the money in any different scenario, um, you'll kind of see why, why the cracks of the system, you know, how the cracks of the system are showing up. When you overprint the currency and you start to have uh, inflation and uh, job loss and all the other ills that go along with um, an unregulated money supply, well, let's just find out kind of what's going on. Now, Blake, you go to Oakmont High School. Yeah. And um, how do you like Oakmont? How, you, how many years have you been there? I've been at Oakmont for two years. This year I'm a junior. Uh, it's been fun. I mean, public school, just like all the way through elementary school, it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Just you know, happy. What are your What are your favorite things in school? What's What's some have been some of your favorite things? Uh, I'd say like my PE class I liked a lot, and my friends. Those are the two favorite things that I've done. Okay, so uh, this year started out like any other year. He's very excited. Today's August tenth, two thousand ten. Bottom line is this: let's get a let's get a, a student's point of view on uh, exactly um, you know the the fate of our system here. Okay. One of the things that George Salente, uh, please forgive me if I mispronounce his name, said that if you take a look at Mexico, that's going to be a little bit more about uh, uh, what the U.S. is going to look like. And I don't know about you, uh, only the really wealthy enjoy Mexico, I would think. I, I would think that's probably it. And so what we plan to do is I plan to be one of the wealthy in the U.S. as well as my son. Now, one of the things that he was really excited about was his web design class. Okay, He has a, a website called Small Engine Advice for Dummies. What does that go over, Blake? Uh, it goes over anything to do with small engines all the way up to my truck, which is a 1960. C10? Goes, yep, C10. It goes from V8 inches down to the, the simplest of the, the four-stroke single cylinders. Okay, so when you got into your web design class, uh, how many people were there? Uh, when I first walked into the classroom, there was about 10 in there, and then I sat down. And as time went by, the bell rang, and there was about 50 people in there. There was three more people than there were computers. So, let's figure this out. There were more people than there were, were computers. Were people sitting on the floor? They were. So, how about your other classes? How were they? Were they, were they empty, or were they was there really no. spacious? All of them had uh, no less than 45. Most of them had ups towards, like, 52 or 53 kids. My first for one class. class. For one class. So they must have had three or four teachers for that. No, one teacher. One teacher yep. for fifty-four kids. Yep. The wow. only the only class that I had that had two teachers was a combined class, which is my printing press for my school and my small business education, and that is um, that had in the ups towards fifty-eight to sixty kids, which was about thirty per the teacher, and both the teachers were in different rooms at different times. So would you say that's the best way to teach kids or what? No. I walked in and I did not like it whatsoever. I'm used to having 30 people in a class and that, that's still more than a teacher can teach. But now there's 50 to each of my classes and 54 classes have been cut out of my school in, over the summer. So what's happening is this. What I see is this. They're eliminating teachers, but they're keeping the students to keep their overall uh, cash flow going. Okay. In other words, inflation, capital I, right? It's not working out. 
okay? I don't mean to be yelling at you, but it's just not working out. So the bottom line is this. What we're doing is we're taking control of my son's education. One of the things that I educate him on, let's get off the subject of just public school for a second. What is your main <coughs> goal with your paycheck? To invest in silver and... Uh, Take your earned income. Take my earned income and turn it into passive income. So Did you hear how he's kind of a little bit brainwashed on that? Here's the deal. When the rich graduate from school, it's normal for them to go out and buy, uh, say, a cash flowing property or start a business. And the reason it's normal is they've been taught that since pretty much day one. That is what I'm doing with my children. I'm telling you right now, you need to take matters into your own hands. The system is definitely falling apart. Don't be one of the whiners on the side, okay? Losers let it happen, winners make it happen. I'm telling you right now, we're starting to see the cracks in our own area. And let me just tell you right now, we have mo I have movie stars that live less than 10 miles from me, okay? Los Lagos, Shelbourne. These are grand mansions that are less than 10 miles from me. Where my wife grew up, you could throw a rock and hit their homes. Here's the deal, that the cracks of the system are starting to show and show big. And the bottom line is you need to take care of yourself. You guys need to study up. Who does dad study? Uh, we got Peter Schiff, Robert Kiyosaki, and Mike Maloney, and a few other people. A few other people. And one of the things that I do, what is some, sometimes do I come home and say, hey, give me a Schiff report? Yep. Bottom line is they understand that they need to be aware of what's going on. I'm telling you, so do you guys. This was just an impromptu deal here. I'm just telling you right now, we're yanking them out of school today. Morgan SLV out.